sorry, man. I'm sorry for you guys. Like, hey, I think we're back. I think we're back. Yeah, it's, we it's back, back up. Man. Hi. Uh, so we are we're back. Sorry about that, y'all. The the disruptions. We still haven't found a good thing. I mean, for weeks now we have worked on trying to find a good solution to all of this. So all I can really say is thank you guys for for hanging in there and trying to to have fun with it. Last week was a really 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 fun session. Was pretty much what I want to say. Um, to make it through that, you guys um, were able to find out some find out some big big ticket items. You guys found out that Yanni apparently is the air quotes with a heavy, heavy um son of Desdemona, one of the fates. The lead fate, it appears. Hot the hot one. The, the hot one, apparently. She's my mom. She I'm not going to comment. <laughs> yeah, She's not, hot. Let's not go there. Oh. I know there's an electric <laughs> complex. We're not going to discuss that today. <laughs> yeah. Let's just pass that by. Um, yeah, you're hot. you guys also witnessed Estrella apparently shedding her naivete, her childlike past, so that she no longer would be a pawn for the gods trying to whisk her one way or another, but rather find herself in the position where she could make her own choices, take faith into her own hands, as she seemed to be reborn of sorts as well. New powers bristling forth, also controlling and forming these fate strings that Lyra, for so long now, has been maintaining. Yanni also got some cool shit, cool gear, pretty much making him an uber wizard. You know, he never gets any spells in my campaigns, but at least he does get that. Yeah. That... that was written into the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Rhodus and Brissa had a wonderful heart-to-heart -heart by the pool. Probably much the probably the deepest RP those two characters have ever engaged in with one another. That's true. Yeah, but Brissa just you know, leaving, you know, just walking away. <laughs> yeah, I mean uh, that, that's pretty much the depth of the the engagement. Is like, hey, did you kill more? Nah, I killed more, but you got brain did it. Okay, fine. That, that was pretty much the extent of it. Um, but of course, after that, Lyra and Estrella being in there. The home of the patron that they are you know, serving now found themselves wandering through these massive volcanic tunnels. And you guys found a couple of weird fox-faced and, and furred humanoid creatures talking with one another. You're able to overhear them and kind of pick out different things. A, a fiendish dialect, a mixture of different languages together that seem to discuss something about readying for an invasion which seems to line up with the information you have received before. Valis, the goddess of wisdom and queen of Mitros, has received reports from her scouts that indeed the, well, the Sidonian? Sidon's forces. The Sidonian. I'm going to have to decide if that is the official Sidonian? Sidonesson? Right. Sidonesson? No. no. <laughs> uh, the forces of Sidon I seem mean... to be... Muse might have a copyright claim against Sidonian. I don't know. But... Dang it. Come at me, Muse. Um, <laughs> I'm what you call judgment proof. Okay. Um, <laughs> that, by the way, for those who don't speak legalese, that means that you don't have enough money to recover, so they probably are just going to drop the case against you. Anyway, so um, as, uh, as as you guys were able to to fight that out, you, you did see that there was a weird portal that led to another... Oh, another place. It was definitely magical in nature. You saw a blasted landscape with floating pieces of rock chained to the ground. It was odd. It was terrifying. You tried to scout it out. Your scouts got immediately torn apart. Bad news bears. I, I bug people. Bug people. Worst of all, you know, Lyra's bug. bird instincts were kicking in so hard, but she held back. She did not want to have bird food, and she walked away from that portal you guys find yourself uh everyone in this game every single person i'm gonna murder every person in this party by the end of this campaign <laughs> <laughs> um don't tip me like that uh but yeah as you guys uh all congregated back at the uh, a cave of the fates rotus the question that we ended up having your character ask uh and just to double check that you're okay with that as well was you know, where is the lotus witch located which no. was Oh, wait, was that Brissa's question? Nope. Which one was Rhodus' question? Did that. 
the, 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 asked about uh, Gaius. Uh, Rodas oh, found out where Gaius. That's Rodas. what it was. My yeah. brain is just shot. Not, to not Gaius. Which, yet, which, yet where the piece of the Antikythera was because he wants which is, to go to. Which is yeah. where. Yeah, which yeah. is where Gaius is. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rodas asked about the Antikythera because we need that to get to Hexia. So and it yeah. was Rodas related. There you go. I'm in. Yeah, it's multiple steps. All right, cool. So uh, as we're picking back up, you guys spent an entire day within the caves. Yanni, you currently live, uh, uh, suffering from a level of exhaustion. As you finished stitching together an amazing, amazing toga robe of sorts for yourself that will be, well, the envy of any academy wizard back in Metros. Big old bags under his eyes, but big old smile nonetheless is just looking upon this. Mm. Yay. Time for now. <laughs> the fates look sleep on the ship. The fates look amongst you one more time. And as they do, they kind of consider all of you. Sorry, I also just realized that the, the volume goes bananas loud. There we go. As they consider you, you see again the two to the second, like looking back and forth in Desdemona, putting her her arms kind of behind herself once more. I am glad that all of you came this day. You will be able to accomplish so many great things. I see it. The many bright futures that all of you have. Do not disappoint yourselves. Become the greatness that I know you can achieve. And her eyes seem to kind of particularly shoot between Astraea and Myra. She motions for the pool for her. You see again the, the weird humanoid-faced maggots kind of going all about in this place. You guys kind of get used to it. Or so probably use it as a footstool at, at some point. I don't know if got used to it is really the right. <laughs> also, we leveled up. Don't forget to mention that. Yeah, and you guys leveled up. Alrighty, let's let's get back into it, y'all. What do you guys do? You just had the encounter with the fates. You're level ten now. There is a screen before you that says Foundry. What do you want to do? The fourth wall. Yeah, I, don't know, well, I, I, I guess are we going back <laughs> to the ship? Are we head, heading back there? Um, yeah, I need a nap. Yeah. Right. Guess we have to head towards. Uh, Where to next? Indigo uh, Island. I I vote we go to the Lotus Witch, right? I mean, we could also go in theory go after the Antikythera, but you know, I guess we can decide. I, I almost can... asked which one was closer, then I remembered everything is the same distance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even if it's right next door, it's three days. Yeah. <laughs> what if we tried to sail to the island like that's literally right next door? If that would take three days, because that would be crazy. I mean, about it, I, I feel like we could use the boat as just an actual boat if we wanted to, instead of using it as a cool star boat. I don't know. <laughs> it's a star boat only. We haven't really <laughs> tried, so I don't know. As you <laughs> try to I sail say, three feet. You suddenly find yourself there three days uh, later. <laughs> you what know. What do you know about this? I was just say, it just occurred to me, Tyler, saying it that way. If we time this right, we could turn that thing into a spell jammer right when the book comes out. <laughs> I could just make our destination. What was that about? Like five Fourth wall? Every, every day. <laughs> what do we know about the Indigo Island? That's where the Lotus Witch is? Yeah, I don't think they told us anything about the island. They just told us that she was a sphinx. Yeah, mm -hmm. that she and was that rival. she has weird time magic. And also that she's like their nemesis, so probably super strong. I don't because the fates are also super strong. I think it'll be fine. You know, if we go in there peacefully, you know, I think it's going to be fine. You know, just like here, right? You know, everyone, you know, Ly Lyra thought, you know, it was going to be a giant fight or, you know, like, you know, that, you know, things were going to get bloody. But it was perfectly fine. I mean, demons died or whatever they were, but, you know, it's fine. You know, they, 
It came back right up afterwards. What are we doing there again? You go first. Brissa and I need to go there. Some type of curse on us that we yeah. uh, don't know, and I don't really, you know, want to be all like snaky or like, you know, oh. it's not really my cup of tea, so to speak. Right, and I have something I have to find there that Desdemona told me about now. Uh, Do we know that it takes three days to get everywhere? Is that an yeah. actual thing? Mm -hmm. Do you know all that? Right. You, as the as the controller of the Antiquitary, you're the one who's like, oh yeah, by I the way. I absolutely know that. I was just making sure that everybody else knew that. Um, uh, so every time we go me. somewhere, we're just like, Astraea, how long will it take us to get there? And you're Pop like, quiz. three days. Do you see yeah. that spot up there? Not anymore. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, um, so um, I have a, I have a bit more knowledge now than I did before. Yes. Um, I think I can has a spell to learn more about this notice witch. Yeah, we have so, a yeah, three-day journey, so let's yeah. do it. You know, so we start it off and then, you know, cast some spells and get as much info as we can. Some traps or, you know, crazy stuff that happens. Back doors. All right. So the, the two next things, though, are the notice witch and Gaius. Yep, right. Should we not learn about both? Because... Isn't an entire army the order or cultists or something? That be, that sounds like a lot of people. It does yeah. sound like a lot of people. And Gaius also has a dragon. We do know that. That's true. I mean, we could always, like, you know, see if that one, you know, devil guy wanted, you know, loan us some soldiers once we get to Gaius's island and be like, you know, cause it a little distraction, then we slip in, you know, kill Gaius, you know, because we definitely have to kill him. And then. Well, yeah. What if he wasn't I... there? Though? What if he was not there when we got there? At least we would not have to fight him and his whole cult yeah. followers. I mean, the we main thing that we're after is the Antica therapy piece. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, point. I mean, if he's not there, we could just... Again. Oh. Yoink. Yep. I think about this for one moment. Oh, I can look and see if he's there. Uh, oh. Not on the same day that I do the. Have checks. you seen him before? Uh, right. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a crapshoot. You do have a Maybe you do that. have a description of him, so it's not impossible. I'm just right making sure. I mean, really I can I can creepy. tell you about him. Yeah, and I know um, the constellation that it's underneath. Um, I'm just trying. I'm I'm talking about legend lore. Is the spell oh. that I think could tell me about Lotus Witch. I don't know if that's fifth level or fourth level. I'm just, oh, it's fifth. Okay, sure. so if we've got three days, I could do legend lore twice. One on Lotus Witch, one on the Gaius. island Order of Sidon, Gaius, right? And then I could do one try to scry, or I could do two try to scries and one. You know, they're all fifth level. Right. Hmm. I think legend lore requires a hefty cost. Oh, shit. You're right, good points. Oh, you know what? I think scrying might, too. Ooh. No. Uh, nope. Wait. Well, it, no, it? it doesn't. No. I think it does. It's like a thousand gold or something. Oh. But that one's, yep. uh, that's not consumed, oh, yeah. so that's a one-time thing. Right, that's a one-time yeah. thing, but we still have to get it. <laughs> Ask your patron before we leave. I take some of the acid. Yeah, yeah. I take some right. of the acid. Yeah. We turn around. I go back. Yep. I go back on the island real quick. <laughs> Yep. I mean, we haven't left yet. You know, maybe one of those worms are your a scrying ball, right? You like look into the face and stare into the eyes, and it you know sh shows I've you the secrets. I've got a dead raven, so that's, <laughs> that's true. I think that's I just have true. to put that in the pool of acid, and I think that's probably going to be fine. Also, I right? do think Desdemona told us that we have to kill the Lotus Witch. I did think she to told us to kill her specifically. She, she asked to kill her, right? <laughs> so, we, you know, the plan was to go over there and be nice to her and, you know, have her free us of our curse. And then we can, you know, be like, oh, stab, right? Mm, mm. You know, let's, let's, let's have her do the good part first. Yeah, do the important part and then kill her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Okay, um, thanks. And by the way, ah, oh. yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, 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 you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So never mind on all that legend lore thing. Well, so you you I'm don't know. You never know. Hold on. You never. You know. I'll just I'll walk I'll walk back into the pool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. 
you try to enter the pool oh, and it doesn't change since there's no sacrifice. Oh, ask, uh, ask them. Oh, I cast message. Ask them. <laughs> ask them if they have any incense. Uh, I I have to kill something. Give me something to kill. Hey, Zotario, what you doing? <laughs> Do it. Sacrifice Zotario. I don't know if that counts. He doesn't actually die. Yeah, but either did those demons. What about oh. Goldie? <laughs> Goldie I, also doesn't actually die. But Zyla, they, though. I don't think that would work. It wouldn't work. <laughs> Definitely not. What if I kill myself? Nope. No. 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 no come back. <laughs> that was a joke. That was just a joke. I think I probably have some incense. Hold on here. We can't do that Are during any... Jasper week, y'all. Jasper's week. Are there any small animals around that we see? I do. I have some incense. I'll just try it with that. We'll see what happens. All right. So. So one more time. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> well, I... I can't. I can't go back and talk to Fate Mommy, so that I'll just get back on the boat. Your yep. wings kind of so, dragging behind you. Um, I will lay out the bones of the raven that the fates gave me. Um, I will cut my palm and use my blood to mimic the runes that are now on my body in a circle around me. And then I will place incense, like at the north, south, west, and east. Um, and then we'll have the legend lore. Do you have incense? I do. I have blocks of incense. Probably for divination. I think divination requires it. Two blocks of incense. Yeah, divination does take incense. Did you have legend lore? You don't have legend lore prepped for the day, though, right? And you don't have 250 don't. gold pieces worth of the incense, right? I How know. much was divination? <laughs> oh, 25 gold. For each one you you lay it out real nice but for some reason as you try to kind of summon forth uh, the magic you it seems to kind of like spark some of the fate strings forth but they don't you know, put it together i collect all the bones and wipe up the blood and just put it away should, mm, okay well anybody should, else um, should we hear how much money do we have? <laughs> I, I, I mean, I said we just go. We don't want to go back to yeah. go back to the go back to the place, right? You know, we, we are on a time crunch. Right, mm -hmm. right. I'm ready to leave. I'm ready we, to take a nap. So just, I'm gonna just go to sleep on the boat, and wherever I wake up, I'm good. <laughs> we, we probably should, after after the Lotus Switch, probably. Gaius. And then obviously Hexia, right? Because you know we have to we have to kill Hexia, right? You know, as soon as we get the right. as soon as we find to... the Antikythera, we gotta go eventually we should probably go back to Mitros and stock up on supplies. All right. So post Hexia we'll yeah. we'll go back to Mitros. I think that's yeah. fair. But you know, honestly, winging it has kind of worked for us yeah. so far. And, so and also at the same time, right? If we do kill Hexia, right? You know, that's some materials that we can bring right. back to the, you know, to have Smith together. So right, because we have to works. kill a dragon in order to get stuff to kill a dragon. And we have the star metal now, right? To, you know, I have it in my bag and then put it back in my bag. And, and, and guess what? I just figured out a spell that I can use to like zap us straight to like Astoria and then we can go to the to the to the forge while uh uh I'm so sleepy while Ophelia takes the ship back to Mitros and then I can zap us straight down to Mitros. We just need to get some special chalk and stuff. Oh nice that that's pretty dope. You know where so, they like, probably we have, that have that three special window. chalk is Mitros. They probably have special chalk at Mitros. Yeah, I'm not saying it's going to work for this next time, but and if I can find teleportation circles anywhere along the way, we can we can we'll be able to go there too. Then you should just make one on the boat. Ooh, that takes like a year. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Mm, yeah. so long term goals, sure. Right. Yeah, long term goals. Seems we like got... we know our next uh, destination. 
if you take a teleportation circle that's like already established, right? Like if it's on like a bunch of wooden planks and you just put it on the boat, would that work? That's right, a fair like, question. Like if there's one in Mitros, right? Like if we just steal wait, their wait, wait, teleportation wait, wait. The circle. The one I know in out. Mitros is like etched in the, the tiles of, the, of a special room for just that purpose at the academy. They gave me the the thing a while ago and said, Here's here's this for if you ever figure out how to use the spell. So I was like, well, why don't you just use... give me the spell too? And they were like, because it's more important for you to figure it out. And I was like, oh, okay, great. Whatever. So if we take some charcoal and some paper and lay it on the teleportation circle and just kind of like make an etching of the one in Mitros, can we put that on the boat? But no. but then when you teleport to it, how would you know which one you're going to, or would you like be split in half, like and just like like half of you in one, yeah, half yeah, of you that's, in another? That's fair. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Just from this conversation, I know I am never going to use your. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't trust it. <laughs> you know, maybe if we just find another teleportation circle, we can just steal that teleportation circle. I, I, I it think it's kind of like anchored to the place more than the runes. Oh, okay. Like the runes mm. are the anchor. The place is also the anchor. Im Im immutable. That that I mean that makes sense. I was I was hoping you know teleportation is on heist. I'm yeah. starting to be team Rotus. Magic is stupid. <laughs> I, th I think you, you you do a lot of magic. Shh. Okay. Shh. We're headed out. All right. I'm walking to the boat. I mean, we're already on the boat, right? Hmm? I don't, What's I it didn't say? So. <laughs> uh, one second ago, Rotus, or uh, not Rotus, Lyra was getting in the water. So. I was, I was. Sure. All right. I sure. flew back to the boat because I can fly today. I remember rolling that. I was very happy about it. Right. Well, I raced Lyra back there and I, made, I beat her even though she's flying. Mm, I don't know. Have you never heard of the saying, as the crow flies? It means I get there faster than everybody else. <laughs> you never seen this guy run? That's true. That's true. You are actually faster than me. I do know that. <laughs> yeah, don't you have you have a flying speed equal to your walking speed, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah, and I I'm pretty Rotus has like forty foot walking speed, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. It just runs faster than you could fly. Kind of hilarious. It's it's still just sad flying. Like eh. Lap. Eh. Lap. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Sil is just doing circles around you. It's like, why are you guys so slow? Wow. What a rude little dragon. Sacrifice Silas. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> PV. Do I have to get that map ready? The Silo PvP? Silo Stop Lyra it. PvP? Oh my god. Who would win on that? P probably. Me? Probably. Me? Silas doesn't uh... really have a lot of attacks. <laughs> Like, you know, absolutely me. I would use Silas' dead body to get back a spell slot. <laughs> oh my god. She doesn't really have a lot. If I'm the first one back, I'll go to Ophelia and say, um, we've chosen our next destination to set sail to Indigo Island, but I we should wait for Estrella. Okay, yeah, you are before. back and you are alive. Well, that is more than most people say when they go try and visit the Fates, so congratulations for that. You see the little bardic theater kind of walk over there. Oh, so you did make it. Uh, no, uh, tell me. <laughs> the, the rest of the guy. You were here. Did you take the <laughs> rowboat, the singular rowboat, over by yourself? Or were you just like up the rope ladder first? Um, he did? Yeah, Rotus, what did you do? Did you, did you start rowing uh, away from everyone? No, 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 I would have waited. Oh, okay. I would have just been like, yeah, up the rope ladder first. Yeah, the, the rest of you guys kind of start filtering over as Lyra slowly, finally lands upon the deck as well. As she's just been like, sadly flying. Sad flying, but it's not just the face. So, uh, bring, tell me more about your encounter. What should the world know about the fates and your involvement with them? It was very drama free. Oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry, no offense, but it's a little boring. <laughs> you think? Yeah. They told something. us when you were going to die. When I was going to die? Yeah, they told us when and how. So you used one of your oh. only questions. 
No, we're to just To ask dying. about... <laughs> they just threw in a freebie because they like us. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I literally... They're literally my patron. Sometimes I just ask them stuff and they're like, Oh yeah, here's that information. Okay, okay, like okay. a loyalty program? They have those... Oh, loyalty shops, program. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those little, they looked like it was those... because you were staying on the boat. Yeah. Like, yeah. They were mm -hmm. like, if you want to avoid his death, don't tell him anything. Mm. Make I'm sure going he to Miami. You guys have fun. Play any more music. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. But really, what what is the story that I'm going to tell of the light of Talia when we're back on Nitros? I just I just look at Estrella. <laughs> I'm totally walking around in my new robe too. So I, mean, I look at him. I don't know if he's and I him. just walk by him and I whisper in his ear as I walk by. If you ever call me bumpkin again, I will slit your throat. And I just keep walking. Um. Looks back at you, Lara. What happened to her? That's how you're gonna die. I told you we knew. But you're supposed to not tell me. What? what? I do have to say, I kind of like the new style. Yeah. So you know. How does yourself well like that? Hmm. At least there it's ready. Make sure you don't call her a bumpkin again, or else, you know. Oh, no more bumpkin. Yeah. So, hmm, let's see. He kind of looks, as he kind of like flicks his wrist up, you see a couple different parchments flying up as he kind of reads over it. You see, okay. One thing that I wanted to ask is, so you've met them. Each of you usually gets a question. What questions did you ask? I asked about the missing piece of our Antigitera. Ooh, yes! And that will somehow allow you to travel to more exotic places, yes? That's my understanding, but I wouldn't call myself an expert. <laughs> Who would be the expert in this? She wants this to be her throne. Oh, why does it have to be her? I mean, that makes sense. She does use it all the time. Oh. Yeah. Like this. Hmm. Maybe we can have a and a section about it, maybe an entire chapter or seven, about the metamorphosis that she went through. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Esperos, you are a genius. All right, so, uh, what else did you ask? Because I wasn't there, come on. I, 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 no, I, I has to little. tell him everything. <laughs> <laughs> I asked where the Lotus Witch was at, she told us, and now we're that's where we're headed next to uh, go, you know, talk to the Lotus Witch. The Lotus Witch herself. Many have tried to seek audience with her, but no one. And I mean, no one ever returned. Wait, did you know about the Lotus Witch? Because if you knew this whole time, that could have saved us a whole question. I mean, I did not know where she was. I know that she is sought after. She's one of the... Well, how to say it? How did we get a dog upon this place? Oh, okay. Looks like that sailor just yeeted it off the plank, huh? <laughs> That's weird. There was a dog larva in the Fates little uh, cavern, oh, too. Oh, I'm yeah. going to have to put that into the book in detail. So... Dogs everywhere, this entire island. So, many have sought after the Lotus Witch. She... She is a Sphinx. As far as we know. Uh, yep, that's Beyond correct. Beyond that, it is said that she was there at the time of creation of Tylea and made it her lair, part of that. I know that she knows many things in Tylea and about, well, the ongoings within it, but as far as anyone knows, she's a recluse, unwilling to see anyone. That, that's good. I mean, she could probably tell us a few questions that we have about... Uh... Sidon and, you know, his siblings and stuff. Ooh, so. very intrigue-based. This is nice. She also has some kind of magical dominion over time. Hmm. 
Hmm. Like, oh, you're alive, but now you're dead, but now you're alive, but now you're dead. There that was a whole demonstration. Terrible. Mm hmm. Ugh. Okay, I don't like that. Are you sure you want to go to this place? That does not sound yeah. nice. It's like really necessary for Brissa and I. Necessary is a strong it. word. Unavoidable? Ah, see, that's a stronger word. I, I get you now. Huh. Um. Okay, so what, what other questions did you ask? Well, I mean, I mean, I think some of them were a little bit, well, and you know, a little bit more personal than you know that, and I, I'm, you know, I don't think that makes we're the best be material. The yes, please tell me a little more. Well, you know, Yanni is you know sleeping right now, so you know, once he wakes up, you could ask him tomorrow, right? I mean, we have oh, a three-day journey. Something personal and... about Yanni? Mm, I'm excited to hear mm -hmm. about this. And then Estrella is, you know, she's I don't know where she went off to, but you know. You can She's over there. We should, we should leave her right there. I, I think she she looks comfortable over there, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I I just asked them for more power. Oh, yeah. well, that's always a smart decision. I, yeah, I can understand that thoroughly. Well, I see I can't pry anything more out of you, be that as it may. I am excited to sing the tales of the siren that saw the fates upon that island. A rendezvous with the fates. Hmm. Uh, they welcomed us as heroes. You should write. You know, welcomed as, we as heroes. I like this. What a we strong have... man. You are quite the poet. They had a whole congregation of people waiting to receive us. A whole congregation? What do you mean? We had to sacrifice a demon just to get in there. A they demon? Cheered for us. What did this three demon look like? And you guys just start <laughs> going three, into the three separate demons. That's right. <laughs> Lara, give me, give me a, so give me a persuasion or deception check. Your choice to kind of make this as grandiose as possible. As there's just like another thing on top of another thing on top of another thing. Decisions, decisions. Damon, math for me. Which is better, a higher number on the dice or advantage on the dice? So advantage comes out to a little bit less than a plus five. So, nerd. What's uh, how much is your higher number? It, they're basically the same. Persuasion that would make my persuasion technically a plus thirteen. My deception's a plus twelve. <laughs> I want him. I want him to write really good stuff about us. So I'll do deception. All righty. Yeah, the most fantastic of tales. We'll get into details later. But Hesperos is absolutely hung up on every word that comes out of your mouth, Lyra. There is maybe a little bit of joy that kind of starts swelling up in your heart where you just realize, wow, I can make shit up and people are listening. Maybe I can make this a career. If I can start influencing people in this way, maybe I could become, maybe I could become a politician. Influencer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, as you as you guys get yourself set up, Yanni, you're starting to kind of doze off uh, um, downstairs or, you know, working on that kind of stuff. Anything else that you guys want to accomplish upon the ship as you travel? Uh, I just wanted to talk to Lutherio, but I can do that later if other people have stuff. We've got the ever-floating line item, Lutherio. We're best I was going to say, you could, have, you could have had a chat with him and then sacrifice him to go back and talk to the fates again. He Just doesn't saying. actually die. That's not how it yeah. works. That I know of. I'll ask him. And I, I go to my little section of where we sleep because I don't think we have individual rooms, right? It's just like a one big bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Ophelia has the the, the actual um, captain's <laughs> cabin. Mm -hmm. And Rhoda's whenever he I wants just, I just have... <laughs> wow. I, just have a, uh, I have a little hammock in the corner. 
I have a nest. I'm afraid if we were all in one big bed, I'd get squished because you're all bigger than me. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll sleeping go with my... the baby. <laughs> Little Yanni. <laughs> I'll go to my hammock and I'll I'll bam bam fan Lutherio. <laughs> huh? Huh? Uh. What? As there's like the, the kind of like the, the two in the afternoon. How are you tired right now? The smoke kind of recedes from him. You can see that there seems to be a little bit of like moisture that's collected upon his skin. Mm. Listen, when you take a nap, you take a nap. If you're tired, you take a nap. How long you take that nap for, and when does it last for two days at a time? Nobody gives a shit down in the Nether Sea. You should definitely, definitely check it out sometime. Did you take like one of those heavy naps where you wake up and you have like a thin layer of sweat on your body? No, I was partially submerged. Don't worry about it. All right, I was just. I... Did you take a bubble bath? We should did have. Did you bubbles. take a bubble bath? I did not, but that sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I could maybe, hmm, maybe take a fire salamander and dunk it under the ocean and then. Yeah, and you can put like essential oils in it, and what makes them essential? Like some can't um, that you need them, that they're necessary for the bubble bath. Mm, I don't infusions. know if that's how science works. What I you lost me? It's just you a lost bubble bath. Me. Essential. Anyways, Grandmaster Lyra, how? And he does this exaggerated bow before you. May I be? Of service to you. That was so cute. Please never do it again. Anyways, um, I won't. hey, mm, you just that. Anyways, uh, question. Mm -hmm. So, I know you're in the Nether Sea, and it's like the best place to ever be. Breaks out some some like long looking splinter, and it kind of takes this little fiendish, impish teeth, and kind of starts picking them clean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when we were talking to the Fates, oh by the way, we met the Fates. Oh. Mm. Um. Australia and I were just kind of exploring because it's kind of our second home, technically. Mm -hmm. uh, and we found this cave, and the cave had a portal. And at first, I was like, maybe this is the Nether Sea. But from what you've told me about the Nether Sea, the Nether Sea is like not super on fire. And this place was definitely super on fire. And I'm um, pretty sure Astrea kind of knew what it was. Somebody had some information. I, I think it was called Hades? Um, Do you know what that is? Because it's not the uh, Nether Sea, right? Is it like no. a branch of the Nether Sea? No, no. Um, I can't believe you don't know this. <laughs> but you see, the nether world is where the souls of our world go. Tell ya. Eh? I guess right, you, you yeah, point yeah. down for you people. We point up. Uh, okay, it is right. not on our plane existence. It's a different plane altogether. Ruled by fiends like me. Yeah. Then why are you in the Nether Sea? Because that's where I come from. That's what I was, you know, made. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So Nether Sea. Mm -hmm. That's where we go. Yes. Lutheria. Rules the Nether Sea. Fantastic goddess, best goddess out there. Hundred percent, eleven out of ten would recommend. Okay. We should probably give her a what like a little sacrifice right now. What uh <laughs> she's a little <laughs> Yanni. Mm, mm, yeah, that's a good thought. That's a good thought. Um we actually talked about sacrificing you earlier, so hold that thought. Um <laughs> Listen, so, all your problems would go away. So easy. 
take care of him just a little you know mm, I, yanni has done a lot so have you do you deserve a break you deserve some allies you deserve the queen of the nether sea kill yanni anyways um so it does someone else rule hades Lutheria is the queen of the Nether Sea and queen of right. Thalia, and that's a different plane, so it stands to reason that's someone special. else that probably is... does, yes. I don't know. Oh, oh, I thought maybe you would know. I don't know. You mm -hmm. seem to know a lot. Uh, maybe Lutheria talked about it. Maybe she wants to take over. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I think else. you you, uh, you misunderstand trying to turn me into a commune spell, which I'm not, by the way. But... I don't spend as much time with Lutheria as you think, yet. But we're working on that. Look, I'm moving up ranks, I'm talking to the right people, it's starting to come together. But no! No! There is not going to be any kind of like, oh, hey, Lutherio! Which is not my name. Come on over here, tell me a little bit about blah 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 blah. No, that's not how we work it down in the Nether Sea. To be fair, I'm pretty sure the first time I ever brought you here, I asked you what your name was and you didn't want to tell me, so I gave you a name. Sure, but it's true. Anyways. That will remain the same. I'm happy with Lutero. I love it. Lutero in, in worship in honor of her. I will do this any day. Yeah, yeah. It's not gonna change. So mm -hmm. um maybe I'll call you Lou sometimes. I don't know. No. Uh, we can miss me with that. Yeah, I didn't like it either. Uh that's cool. Um, it's good to know you don't talk with her a lot. I'll let Yanni know that because I'm pretty sure he's still worried that you're like spying on us for her. But if she doesn't actually know you exist, that kind of. Um, no, thanks for the info. Uh, go enjoy your bubble bath and I'll just uh, send it back. Bath! Oops again into this pink mist. And I'll. Uh, Lay down, go to bed, because that was the only thing I had to do today. We've had a long day. Alrighty. Um, anything else that you guys have on the travels to the Indigo Island? Alrighty. Not unless uh, Hesperos is going to corner me and ask me about the, the dates. Oh yeah, 100%. During the three days, he will at some point approach you and just be like, You're... Robes are magnificent, I, I have to say. Hey, thanks. I made them myself. But when? With the fates. With the fates. That's what I asked for. Yeah. Oh. I asked them what they were going to do for me to help me ah. Lutheria because they don't they don't like oh. her either. And they said, here, we'll show you how to how to weave awesome, awesome robe that this. makes you a great wizard. So it's here amazing. I am. Ta -da. Kind of like starts walking around, kind of like every once in a while, picks up a little bit of fabric, kind of looks and kind of touches it. It has that, what do we say, 9 billion Brazilian count thread, Nine right? Brazilian. 9 Brazilian. It's amazing, this is so soft, I'm gonna die. Oh, this is so nice. This is amazing. Yeah, I have to convince myself to take it off to sleep because you know, ah. I don't want it to get all like sweaty and wrinkly and stuff i would too so comfortable but you're a wizard you can simply just wave your hands and clean things right valid but you know ah i wouldn't worry about it too much so the elders told me that something very personal happened with you and the fates please tell me more so that your story can truly reverberate and you know we can make a lot of coin off of the stories being retold oh yeah um yeah, it's no biggie. The uh, the the leader of the fates is the the hag that ate me and birthed me back up. Apparently, she. But you are. E yep. Ah, uh, you already knew this. Uh, that's true. But the fates. What are the? Apparently, one of them in particular. But that does not make you... What does that make you? I don't know. Confused? Alive, at least? Versus fair, not? Fair. Uh-huh. You are the son of a fate? I mean, Lyra calls me a haggling. <laughs> That's all I know. This is amazing. 
And I'm just, he just starts writing. It's like, so, when she told you this... You're sending me a fateling? I like that, fateling. Hey, Lyra! Am I, am I still a tagling or am I a fateling now? Sorry, I no. tried to mix them together in my no. head. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Damn you, Tyler. No. Bad Tyler. A hateling? Like, What's wrong like, with being a hateling? Oh, no, it was worse than that. <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh you I know. can't say I that know on exactly Twitch. where you went. <laughs> you can't say that on Twitch. Oh, my God. <laughs> um... Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all I can think wow. of now. <laughs> uh, okay, reset. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Uh, mm, I I don't I went with haggling because it was like halfling, but also a hag. Fateling doesn't really. A hateling. But I'm. I mean, I guess I can be hateful. Sure. What if it's like a. Fateling, but it's spelled F H. I don't know. Works for me. I don't, I don't know how Greek letters work. There's a phi on it. It would be. It would be uh, phi. Yeah, it would just be a phi instead of a pi at the beginning, right? Yeah. I never. I never learned how to how to read or write. So it's canon. Boom. Ill Lyra is illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, my intelligence is it decent enough to be able to do that? That's about it. So uh, I don't know. I mean, if you want to be called a fateling, we can do that. But I'm probably still going to call you a hagling. I, I still refer to myself as a halfling just because it's easier. Yeah. Most people. What if? Ooh, wait. What if we all give ourselves titles? And you just have three titles. You're like Yanni, the halfling, child, haggling of the fates, fateling of Thylea. Wait, 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 wait. Let's let's workshop this before you write it down. I don't know. I kind of like that. That was just right off the top of my head. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna need to let's see. So if we're gonna like drama this up a little bit, wouldn't it have to be something like Yanni the all powerful haggling son of Desdemona, the Queen of the Fates? All powerful might be a little overstepping it. I you're part of the light of Thalia, but you know I've seen you grow, become more powerful. You know, save that for down the road, maybe. I mean yeah. at, what what do you say, like ninety percent powerful then? How's Maybe we should start with like no. the the littlest one first. So like halfling of, you know, wherever you were from. Arisha, please. Area. How long have you known me? The I accent meant, should tell you. I meant like specific. I didn't know if you knew specifically where in Arisha you were from. If there's little subsects of Arisha. I've never oh, been I mean, to Arisha. The slums, so. the streets. Yeah. Halfling of the slums. That sounds cool as hell. A slumling. From the school of hard knocks. <laughs> Straight out of Arisia. Oh, I'm gonna stop there. I didn't quite work. Didn't quite work. No, it did not. For a lot of reasons. I don't know. I'm just saying you can be all three. There's no reason Compton can't be the reason word for slums, though. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, now there's a big Los Angeles neighborhood that wants to kill me, but that's okay. I heard of some dragon lady with a million Hmm. Dragon Lady of the Million Names. That's well, probably the faster way to say it. Yanni's got a Brazilian names. <laughs> so there. Where's Astraea? I cross like so just like in this in this like pose. <laughs> There's all these like super vile looking witch like sigils around her. She's like <laughs> Usually she's here to add to the banter. Where did she go? What is Estrella up to? Putting on, I saw her putting on heavy eye makeup. Like really heavy, dark eye makeup. 
a little like just like on the brow. It's not quite a tiara. It's not quite a face mask. It's somewhere in between. Got raccoon stripes in her hair now. Yeah, I mean, I imagine she's <laughs> just thinking. She's like looking at her hands, like trying out all the new, you know, power she has. Is Are you there... doing one of those Jacob's Ladder things with the fate strings? Because that's what Lyra does, but she hasn't told anybody that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Um, are there any spells that you guys want to cast during the three days that you have? We're like re-preparing, spell slots, all that kind of stuff. Using oh, yeah, that strategically. Um, do I have strategic spells? Not really. Only combat, oh, yeah. huh? Not that I have components for. The only non-combat spells that I have are Suggestion, which I'm not going to use on anybody on the ship. That will end poorly. Yeah, that can totally be a combat spell. Just oh, that, yeah, that that's true. But also non-combat. And Divination. And I don't know if Desdemona wants to hear from me a day after we just left. Like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> I mean, I could. I could ask them. Since we are headed to the Lotus Switch, I could, I could hit them up and be like, "Is there anything else?" Um, let me see. I don't remember what all I can. Oh, I, oh, a, right. I can ask them about a specific thing that we're planning on doing, and they'll be like, "Here's, here's what's gonna happen, probably." Which they kind of. I mean, we already know we're gonna go there. Brissa and I are going to find out some more information about our curse, and then we're going to have to kill the Lotus Switch. So, she, I mean, a, after after the after the after after oh, the information, okay. we kill the Lotus Switch because if we don't, we probably will get double cursed for like breaking our promise to the Fates. Oh, we didn't so. promise to the Fates, right? I mean, they they said that if we did, they would give us extra stuff, right? But they didn't say that. We, I never promised that we killed this lady. Sphinx, is it? You know, I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's fair, I guess. But we're probably gonna have to kill her. So, I don't know if that would be useful to find out anything else. It, it's anything that we're gonna do within a week, so I could ask them about something else we're planning on doing. I could ask them, like, hey, when we go to the Isle of Yonder? Is that right? Yeah. Um, is Gaius going to be there with an army waiting to destroy us? I could, I could, you know, hit him up about that if we want. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. If we want to do that, that's fine with me. It doesn't really matter to me. Do you, do you think they'll tell you? They seem pretty intent on not answering any more questions. Um, I think since I am technically using like some of the magic that they've given me and I have to make a whole little sacrifice about it, they're more inclined to give me a response. It's not just me asking a question into the ether. Okay. Will I get more emotional trauma like I did the first time? Probably. But uh, mm. at least we're is like there, kind is of. Is there such thing as more, now. or are you just like to the point where it doesn't matter anymore? Just... I don't know. I'm pretty high up there now. They told me a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. <laughs> really, I think the Did only you way find out one of them was your down. mom. Uh, not necessarily. Okay. Uh, I you did. don't have the corner on the market on emotional damage from our last stop. Is all I'm saying. That I'm I'm not trying to play who has the most emotional damage. It's clearly Estrella, according to Hasperos. Just to point that out there. According to Hasperos, and that I made up. That <laughs> I totally made up. 
without any input from Marissa. <laughs> she was. <laughs> it tracks. It tracks. But yeah, I mean, I can ask him about that if we want to. I don't mind. It just takes a second. But that's all I got. I don't really have. I got some new magic that I can use if we end up fighting, but. Oh, are you going to cast Divination or not? Yeah, let's do it. All righty. Let's hit up Fate Mommies. I already missed them. Fate We're mommies. cool now. We're cool now, and I miss them. Okay. You do have the 25 GPs worth of incense, right? Yep, I bought four Charges. castings worth, nice. worth last time. So That's I your sacrificial offering now. appropriate. I made like sure. that whole little like uh woven quilt with my blood and stuff in it, remember? So as you put that on there, it's like it starts to kinda of disassemble. You look upon it and let me read the spell one more time okay. just to make sure that let it's... me think. I can ask them a single question about something we're gonna do in the next week. Um so I'm gonna ask them if we go to the Isle of Yonder, will Gaius be waiting for us with his army? Reasonable. You see the little blood-soaked thing before it kind of stitch itself back and forth. You suddenly see your blood seemingly get moist again and then push itself up and then back down into the fabric. And you can see that scene suddenly become an animation of sorts, almost like a, a little oh, cartoon with bloody figures. And suddenly some of the splotches are getting darker, drier, and some of them a little bit more moist. And you can now see like different shadings within it. And you actually see the figure of Gaius standing in some kind of a room. And you do see soldiers kind of passing back and forth behind him. And then the blood kind of it seems to soak out of that and into the, the burning incense as it burns up and the loom kind of burns in your hand. You're like, shit! Um, so Gaius is definitely going to be there. Uh, and there are going to be soldiers, but it didn't look like an army's worth. So I think best bet is just to be prepared for an army, but he's definitely there and will be there. So we can mark that off the list of what ifs. Good to know. Yeah, this spell is actually kind of neat after you've like met them and are cool with them now and don't have to worry about people dying. Wait, you don't have to worry about people dying? So, like, we know we're good? But, I mean, dying if you use it to talk to them. Because last time I did it, oh. they were like, you have to sacrifice one of your friends, and I didn't tell any of you about this, but I technically stabbed Brissa, but they were like, hey, it could be Brissa or Yanni, and you guys were there, and you were on those larva body things that were there, and they were like, you have to kill one of them in order for us to help you. And I tried to stab myself, and they made me stab Brissa instead. It was a whole lot. It was a whole lot. But we can move past that now. That's in the past. That sounds terrible. What yeah. Did this whole sacrifice thing. Well, they told me that they weren't going to hurt any of you guys, so I'm nope. kind of chill about it now. This magic stuff isn't worth it, you know? You just... <laughs> yeah. It's much easier Rodas, to just hit things. Rodas, you've Is literally that... used magic. I've seen you do it before. You threw a spear at people and knocked them back. That's just because of my immense strength. That's all finesse. I've seen you make light. I think finesse and strength are two different things. You can be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I I can't I can't argue that because I don't actually know if I'm right or not. So I don't know. I don't know. I've seen you use magic. That's all I'm gonna say. Just, 
I'm in a staring contest with Rotus now. <laughs> days are left here guys <laughs> <laughs> um yeah is there anything else that you guys would want to go through all right the only thing that does happen is sila definitely is is kind of taking a little bit of a liking to to playing with rhoda's kind of wrestling around as she kind of plays around and then goes over to brisa and like so sila hungry so, so give him another beat. <laughs> I guess the fight is enough the character sheet. We're gonna have to kill this dragon. More? Mummy's uh, 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 broke. I'm sorry. I'm sure they you know, do. You know mm. I can come to you with some regular food. Mm. <laughs> the dog Sila. Somebody has a couple of small children around the house. Uh, you know. Just a little bit of cast by create food and water, you know. Oh, look at that. You, you have she kind of goes water. over there. It's just like claws dragging on the decking. And kind of just plops down as she kind of looks at the, the food. What did you make for her? Or what did you create? Oh, uh, can you choose with create food and water? I thought it's just like plain food. It's 45 pounds of food, so she's going to be stuffed. Oh, my God. Food is bland but nourishing. Yeah. yeah, but you can you can describe it. I I mean I would just do a lot of meat. It'd just be it just be meat on meat on meat. Boiled yeah. chicken breast. Yeah, she just kind of and picks up the the, the the chicken and she's like mm -hmm. uh, uh. One day I'll be rich and you know we can you know like have people come and like give you coins. Maybe like in Mitchell's we'll set up like a petting zoo and you know, like people give you a pet and then you they toss you a coin or something. You were to put in a zoo? Like, it's just like not, not not actually in a zoo, but like kind of like, you know, just like they give you a coin, they pet you, you know, like, and you know, and say like, oh, you're awesome, right? And then they, they move on, right? You know, and it's a kind of like free snacks. Hmm. Hmm. Make me a persuasion check. The ship we tell our children to make them work. <laughs> All of the snacks. Next yes, time, yes, yes, next yes. time we are Mitros, I want to be pet by everyone. And they all give me gold. Yeah, every gold or silver, right? You know, some, some of the people can't afford gold, right? But yeah, we'll, we'll definitely try and get, you know, lean towards the gold. Gold cookies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't know if they have gold cookies, right? You no. know, we're talking about like normal working people. Right? She starts jingling your... Your very, very empty gold coin, uh, coin pouch. And you quickly realize she calls gold coins gold cookies. Oh, oh okay. Oh, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll have we'll give you all the cookies that you can. But, yeah. you know, for right now, just eat this food. It's, this was more nourishing anyways. Mm. It makes you, it makes you a stronger dragon. Gets down. <laughs> Starts eating away at it. Alrighty. With that... Somebody roll me a d10. I'll do it. It's a two. It's a two! Uh, Alrighty. One of those days, we'll say the, the day after the one that you guys have been currently uh, traveling on. Astrea, you are you're charting the course. And as you do... You suddenly see that there's something weird about this magical slipstream that the the ship seems to be on as you look over it you realize that indeed there's like a almost like a shimmer a shift a disturbance within the magic itself as you look upon it you kind of seem to focus you turn your staff over as the antiquitera kind of points a light towards it you see the slipstream kind of peel away and the sea with a massive amount of stars and blackness kind of spread out but there you see another ship traveling as fast as you guys are. Good pace. But not necessarily in like a true parallel course, kind of like traveling a different way than you guys. You look upon that, ponder it, and you realize that it's another magical ship. According to legend, from every book that you had read in your seclusion, only the Ultros could ever accomplish this magical travel. Hmm. 
Um, I'm gonna go and just grab Yanni. Huh? Um, there's something I think maybe you should see. Okay. I'll just kind of like pull him out there and just show him. You show, and oh, you, right. you can barely, barely see kind of like as it disappears. Was that another ship? Looked like it. What little bit I saw. But I, what what ship? I thought this was the only ship that was. I mean, just because it's the only one we've heard about doesn't mean it's the only one. It's a big world out there. I mean, you know, Estor was. Uh, he didn't strike me as the terribly magically inventive type, so I doubt he came up with this idea. He had to have gotten it somewhere. So, you know. Or, you know, maybe the ship can travel through time, too, and we just passed ourselves. Who knows? Wait. Right. Didn't, didn't... I can't call her mom. Didn't she say that the Lotus Switch was like a time wizard or something? Yes. Maybe maybe we did just see ourselves, but it was because of something she did. I don't know. This is really your area of expertise. Um... Is there anything mechanical that gives me any kind of extra insight into this? Um, make me an arcana check. I will do that. 17. <laughs> Excuse me. You think on it, Yanni, and indeed, Estor was a warrior. He was a dragon lord, certainly, so he may have had, you know, the, the divine power that Briss also exhibits, but this is certainly beyond him, though... You know that there was someone who was extremely loyal to him, into his death and beyond, who may have had experience with this, who may have been the one who actually drafted this, was there when the tree was cut down and Estrella's aunt was killed, and may have been instrumental in the forging of this tree, you now think. Or I mean, ship. I guess I could send a message to Damon and see if he can shed any light on it. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to cast something. You have the technology. Let's see. Alright. I'm just laughing because I was going through my character sheet and making sure some of this stuff was removed and i totally <laughs> forgot this whole time that i've had that researcher feature that you get for taking sage as a background i've never once gone to the academy to find anything out <laughs> if it is also because you can use you know downtime in some clever ways i i was like oh yeah i forgot i even had that all right yanni what do you say all right damon yanni Ultros, your idea? Did you learn it somewhere else? Could there be another ship that travels the same way? You can reply to this message. You. <laughs> <laughs> you feel exasperated, just kind of rumbling sigh escape. As the message goes. Yeah. Never do this again. I got the Ultras Estor. They found way to make. The Isle of Yonder. 
seriously, never again. This is crazy. Yeah, we'll see about that. Um, so he wasn't super happy. Told me not to do that again, but I don't always listen. And he said he learned how to, or he found how to do it on the island of Yonder, which is on our near term itinerary, I do believe. So, file that away for later. Yeah. Interesting. Maybe we can each have our own ship and go do different things like that. Oh, but I don't want to sacrifice any... any, any Guys, we're just going to start doing individual sessions, you know? So <laughs> we're going to start scheduling, though, separate streams for that stuff, you know? Yeah. David is like, yeah, that's um, fine. So anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to pick up more rogue levels if that's the case. Um, uh, so yeah. Uh, it sounded kind of like it was not necessarily his original idea. Which means there could very well be more of them out there. But I'm also not discounting the whole, like, you know, Mobius strip we just passed ourselves doing different things at different times because of either a power of the ship we don't know about yet or maybe this time witch person we know something. Sorry, you are the only one I knew to ask. Hey, no problem. I wish I had a better answer. But, uh, you know, I wish I got a better look. I wonder if I could have Dimension Doored over Arthur. If you see it again, give me a holly really fast. Really fast. Super fast. Yeah. High intelligence, low wisdom. All right. <laughs> You guys travel on for the next couple of days uninterrupted please everyone make sure that you get a long rest in just so that you guys have that prepared spell casters choose your spells now your exits are located to your left and to your right um and speaking of exit as you guys are getting uh closer towards this this island kind of traveling out of the the slipstream you see towards uh, an island etched by sandy beaches and calm waters. You can see that the land itself overall seems to be largely flat and grasslands are stretched out across the island, interrupted only by shrubs and small trees. However, in the middle, kind of where you see that one uh, on the map, there's a solitary structure visible from your ship. There's an ominous black stone tower the uh, island's center. And with that, we're going to take a short break, potty break, uh, and then we'll see you guys with the exploration of Indigo Islands and maybe meeting the Lotus Witch. See you guys here shortly. <laughs>